Hello everybody and uh, today I'm going to be talking about the letter ash. So H basically in English is pronounced as ash in French and uh, one of the most common questions that I get from a lot of students is what's the difference between H mute and H aspirated? I'm just uh, giving you an example of certain words and how to identify them when you come across these words in a dictionary, right? Because um, I'm sure most of you in the learning stages, you will be uh, having an access to a dictionary or some app on your phone on which you would like to know the meanings of words. And it's a very good habit too, right? As you uh, uh, progress onwards, it's always good, good to grasp new words and add them to your vocabulary. So let's uh, uh, learn more about the letter H. Now the letter H in French, it has to... Um, it's got two sides to it. Like I said, it's H mute and H aspirated. And French, you say it as H mute and H aspirate. So um, let's go on about it in detail. So below I have compiled a list of uh, words, like I said, not exhaustive list of words that begin with the letter H, but H mute and H aspirated. So what's the difference between the two? So basically when a letter begins with H mute, it means that the H is silent, okay? So the H is not pronounced in the word. For example, this word over here is going to be pronounced as um, not hum, okay? And this word over here is going to be pronounced as orloge. This one is hier. This one is habite. This one is alain, right? And when you come across words that begin with H aspirated, then you pronounce the H. So this is hush, hamak, handicap, hise, hublo. So now arises the big question. How are we going to identify which words are beginning with the letter H mute and which begin with the letter H aspirate, aspirated or with an aspirated H? So, well, there is no easy trick in finding that, but uh, I can let you know how you can identify it, at least from the dictionary and which uh, so that you could, you know, make a note of it and, uh, pr and as you add words to your vocabulary, you would know how to uh, distinguish between the two, right? So when I was learning, I found out that the H, letter H aspirated, when it comes in a word, it's denoted by the symbol, by, a, by um, apostrophe in the phonetic language right so let me explain this in, in a bit more detail all right so one of my favorite um, online dictionaries that i usually refer to is la Rousse. so i'm going to take you into this dictionary here which i have open on my browser okay so let's take a look of one of the words that i mentioned earlier and hit enter there you go the dictionary is working Okay, and like I said, this word begins with the letter H mute, meaning H is silent, right? So how does the dictionary identify this in the phonetic language? I'm going to expand my, or rather, uh, okay. All right, so there you go. As you can see in the dictionary, in the phonetic language here, this is the phonetic language, right? So this word begins with H mute, but if you look on the phonetic language, it begins with A, right? Letter A in French. So it gives you an indication. So it begins with, uh, it's supposed to be pronounced as Alain, right? And without the H being, uh, without the H being pronounced at all. In other words, the H is silent. Let's take another example. Um, search for this. While the dictionary is searching, I'm just going to snip it. Make it big enough for you guys to see online. And once again, an example of a letter begin i'm sorry an example of a word beginning with the letter h mute and as you can see it 
pronounced as om. So now let's look at a different word, uh, an example of a word beginning with H aspirated. Uh, going off my memory. Okay, so I took out the letter I. So let's see how this word is represented in the phonetic language. Once again, let me enlarge this so it's easier for everyone to see. Oops. So if you can see this, now this is an example of a word beginning with H aspirated, right? But if you can see this little apostrophe here, so this little symbol over here signifies that this word begins with H aspirated, meaning, meaning the H has to be pronounced. So it's going to be pronounced as hush and not ash. Okay, one more example. So as you can see, I typed in uh, this word using the English keyboard. So some, the, this website prompts you if this is the word you're looking for. In our case, it has already taken it out, so which is good. So I'm just going to lar take snip out this little space here and then enlarge it. Now this is a very, very good example of a word of an exception in French. As you can see, the word hero, okay, meaning hero, as he died as a hero, right? A hero, I mean, sorry, a hero basically in French, is pronounced with the H. So this is an example of a word. Let me highlight it to make things easier. So this one is pronounced with the H because it begins with H aspirated so it is pronounced as hero okay whereas the feminine version of this let me highlight it in a different color that is the feminine version as you can see F standing for feminine so hero heroine right in English so in French arrow heroine so what is the difference this word over here does not have the apostrophe can you see it begins with doesn't have it so meaning which the masculine version of the of the word begins with H aspirated whereas the feminine version does not begin with the H aspirated. It, in fact, it begins with H mute. So if you want the exact pronunciation of it in French, like how or exact French pronunciation, you can go to the dictionary and see how this is pronounced. Le héros, héroïne. Okay, as you can see. Le héros. You have that H there. Hero, heroine. Can you see it? Le héros. I mean, ignore this part. Basically, this is the English one. This is where you need to be concentra concentrating. Héroïne. Okay, so yeah, so this is a very good example of a noun in which the masculine version begins with uh, H uh, aspirated meaning which the uh, H has to be uh, pronoun uh, pronounced whereas the feminine version of the same noun does not begin with H aspirated it be begins with H mute okay so yeah so this is uh, an easy way of identifying uh, which uh, which word begins with H mute or which word begins with H aspirated using the phonetic language and you just have to watch out for this apostrophe when it comes to words beginning with the letter H aspirated, right? And um, the, this, the real significance of what, of the words beginning with H mute or H aspirated comes when we are using the um, demonstrative pronoun or the definite article, right? Where we have the contraction of the vowel. We're not going to go too much into detail. I'm just going to give a brief overview of this. Okay, so um, hopefully my pen writes. Okay, so we know the definite article is what? Le, oops, la, and le for plural, right? So in this case, let's focus on the singular. So when it comes to, let's say, let's take examples of the words beginning with H mute, okay? 
So in this case, if you have to say the man learns the and om meaning the man, but because this begins with h aspirated, we get rid of the vowel and put an apostrophe instead and it becomes lom okay and let's take the example of the second word right you know what i'm just going to make this easier by just inserting a column here maybe one more column there okay now in this case if i have to put Like orloge is feminine, instead of putting lorloge. Sorry, my system is just acting up. So, okay, so if it is la or loge, because this begins with h mute, we get rid of the vowel, right? So we get rid of this vowel and instead we insert the apostrophe, right? So that's how uh, what we contract the vowel when the word begins with a h mute. All right, and uh, if it's if the word begins with the h aspirated, we do not contract the vowel. In this case, if it's a feminine word, it's going to be la ash, le hama, le handicap. Okay, and this is a verb and this is a noun, so it's going to be le hublo. Okay, so hopefully this is a, a pretty uh, a, a good explanation of how you distinguish words beginning with H mute and H aspirated. And I just gave you an example how the uh, vowel contracts uh, for a definite article in, uh, in front of a noun or sorry, in front of a word beginning with H mute and H aspirated. Now let's say we um, look at the demonstrative adjective. Like I said, I'm not going to go too detailed into grammar at this part. Uh, the main purpose of this uh, little uh, online lesson was just to, in, uh, to you know, help readers identify the two uh, words, especially when they're looking at a dictionary or on, or on an app on the phone, right? So let's get rid of all these. What's the demonstrative pronoun? This, that, these, right in English. So in French, as um, if you are a familiar, oops, it's basically so for masculine, set for feminine, and then save for plural, right? But there's also another demonstrative pronoun called set, right? And when is this used? This one is used whenever the noun begins with an H mute, right? So in other words, instead of saying sir, um, because this one begins with H mute, we are going to add a T. So it'll be set the um. And that's this rule is only for the, the, the words, uh, sorry, for a masculine noun, right? If it's feminine, then we still continue to use set. So since orloge is a feminine noun, it continues to be set, set, right? And this, well, I don't think this is going to be a proper usage of set Helen, like Helen basically, uh, Alain, sorry, basically means breath. But in case you have to say this breath is going to be set Alain and not C-E-T, right? And uh, for H, um, Aspirated, you can continue using sir, right? So if it's a masculine, even if it's a masculine word, you can still use sir handicap or sir hamak, right? You don't have the contraction or sorry, you don't have the addition of the letter T like how uh, we did for those nouns beginning with the letter H mute. So I hope this was a pretty useful uh, online lesson for you. If you guys have any doubts or you want to have um, this explained a bit more uh, in detail do not hesitate to reach out to me and as i mentioned please uh, make make uh, uh, please develop your uh, habit of using the uh, using the dictionary to uh, find out meanings of new words do not skip them 
saying that, oh, you know what, I'll probably, uh, uh, you know, find it later. No, do not uh, procrastinate. So whenever you find a new word, make sure you look up the meaning of the word in the dictionary. And uh, like I said, La Rue's uh, is my favorite dictionary. There's so many dictionaries available online. You can choose whichever one you want. And uh, also, uh, and uh, make sure you uh, make you use of this little icon here, which uh, which uh, helps you to learn how the word is exactly pronounced the way the French do, right? Okay, and um, yeah, and uh, Larousse is also available in apps and uh, other dictionaries also would be having their own apps, which is compatible with your Android or iPhones, right? So make use of the feature, the tech, uh, make use of technology and make, uh, make sure you uh, put it to a productive use and improve your vocabulary as you go. So if you like this uh, video, make sure you hit the like button and, uh, and do subscribe uh, too as because I'm planning to put more of my lessons come in as I go about. All right, so yeah, take care, happy learning.